I'm Nancy Marie Bergman. I'm a wife and working mom to two very active teenage children. I'm also a 47-year-old breast cancer survivor. When I first learned that I had breast cancer, I was frightened and I felt that my world had come to an end. When Nancy first told me of her diagnosis, it shook my world. We'd been married for 18 years, and for the last eight years, we've been working together in a business that required us to be on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The smell. You smell good? Yeah. To know that my children would possibly be left without a mother, I knew I had to react quickly. I did everything I could to learn about my disease. And I actually spoke with my insurance company to know what my in and out of network benefits were. I decided to stay in network originally so that I could limit my out of network expense. When I realized that the surgeries would be more complicated and that my tumors were multiple, I decided to exercise my option going out of network. I did know that I was going to be financially responsible for something. I wasn't certain at that time what that something was. It wasn't until the first surgery after it was completed that I received my first explanation of benefits. The insurance company was billed a little over 42,000. I was responsible for 24 of the 42,000. I was simply shocked. I started to panic, only because I had two future surgeries that were scheduled within the next six months and I didn't understand whether or not I was going to be able to afford these surgeries. All we needed was clear and concise information with respect to what our out-of-network benefit was. But unfortunately, that information was not easy to obtain. Nobody should be having to face this type of worry when all you should be worrying about is getting better and healing. Today, approximately 70% of people with health insurance have plans that permit access to and reimbursement for out-of-network services. Many people, though, feel surprised and perplexed when they get their explanation of benefits because of a lack of transparency with respect to what those services cost. Andrew Cuomo, as the New York State Attorney General, has sought to end the confusion by creating Fair Health. Fair Health is an independent, not-for-profit organization whose core mission is to bring fairness and transparency to out-of-network reimbursement. Fair Health will eliminate the confusion on what out-of-network reimbursement should be. The system now will be able to provide patients with a database where they will be given the information based upon their procedure. I've been asked and honored to be on the board of Fair Health, sharing my story so that what happened to me doesn't happen to others. Nancy Marie Bergman is a great addition to the Fair Health board. She joins a diverse group of leaders from all segments of the healthcare industry. That diversity promotes rich and rigorous debate in furtherance of a common goal which is to really provide consumers with the tools they need to make wise and informed healthcare decisions. The reason that Nancy needed to be part of this was that very few opportunities ever come across where you can really make a significant change that can affect not just the life of your neighbor, but hundreds of thousands of people. And that's what Fair Health can do. When fair, unbiased, and transparent information is made available, everyone benefits. Payors, providers, researchers, policymakers, and particularly consumers. For consumers like me, it allows us to focus on getting better at a time when we need it most.